say when, we, when I got to do this show that we're going to have to give the bad guys equal time. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, they said, you're going to have to talk to one of the bad guys every week. And I said, well, I'm not having them in the same studio with me. So what we're going to do right now is talk to Jimmy Cornette by a closed circuit. Uh, well, there he is, Jimmy Cornette. Uh, I guess I have to welcome you to the show. Oh, come on, Lawler. Come off it, please. And don't tell these people that you requested I be in another studio. I requested I be in another studio because I wouldn't sit in the same one that you're in. That's exactly... I see you've spared no expense to have a cheap living room set and a cheap dining room set. I don't know where the bathroom and the kitchen are, but I don't know why you have a talk show in the first place, Lawler, because it's a dying medium anyway. All of them are folding up. And you, with as little personality as you've got, <laughs> if you want to be Johnny Carson, go ahead, ask me a question. <laughs> well, I knew this wouldn't be a very pleasant experience, but we have to talk to you. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say was uh, we've naturally heard from you that uh, about all the money that your mother has. Do you mind telling us, could you kind of let the wrestling fans, myself included, in on where you came about or where your mother came about this it's, great it's fortune? It's not really particularly any of your business, but if you have to insist on it, I'll tell you. You know, Memphis, Tennessee has a couple of newspapers, the Commercial Appeal and the Press Scimitar. Well, in Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm from, there are two newspapers also, the Courier Journal and the Louisville Times. My father, among other publishing interests, just happened to be president of both of them. Does that answer your nosy question, Mr. Lawler? Well, I guess it does. So, uh, in other words, it's publishing, big publishing money that uh, your mother now controls. Is that it? You could say that. Okay. But what well, I want to talk about today, since this is the inaugural program of the Jerry Lawler Show, I'm sure soon to be alongside Gunsmoke and I Love Lucy as all those long-running television programs, is the first family of wrestling, a subject I'm sure that's near and dear to your heart. Because, Mr. Lawler, you see, that's why you have a TV show today. That's why you have radio shows. That's why you play softball a lot. Because the first family since I have well, joined Jimmy, Jimmy Hart. Jimmy, excuse me for just a second. You did say one thing is right. This is the Jerry Lawler Show. And so I do have the privilege of cutting you off. And that's what we're going to do. But first, we don't want you to think, you know, you've got all that money. We don't want you to think that this is a cheap show. We have a gift for you for being on the show. And, uh, well, this is it right here. It's a little button, and I hope you can read it. It says you're ugly, and your mother dresses you funny. Okay, Jimmy. Oh, come that's, uh, that's a that's Lawler. That is a cheap Jerry trick. Lawler show. That is a cheap trick, Lawler. I am I am never coming on this show again. <laughs> well, we never want you on the show again. Anyway, that's our uh, bad guy segment, and now we're going to take an opportunity to talk to somebody that uh, would be a little more pleasant. I